So this is my post about mechanical advantage, catapult, and projectile um, motion. Projectile motion. So we'll, we'll start by mechanical advantage. Uh -huh. Mechanical advantage is basically, basically, a, for basically it's the input force divided by the output force. So let's say, it's like, let's say you have a lever with one arm four times longer than this arm. It's going to be four times easier to push up on, push down on this, then push down on this. And, well, same mechanism with a screw. Because, like, if you have a screw, if you move it, to move it a tiny bit down, you have to turn it a lot, which makes it easier. And to make the mechanical advantage even bigger, instead of just turning this, you can take a wrench and then turn the entire thing, which will give you a really high mechanical advantage. And if you try measuring the force, and multiplying by the mechanical advantage, most screws it requires over a ton of force to push it down. So I don't think you can just take a hammer and go bing, ding, ding. And then projectile motion. So Galileo reasoned that projectile is not only influenced by one motion, but two. Motion acts vertically is the force of gravity, which is why the screw falls down. And the other force is the horizontal motion of the projectile shot from the catapult. And the best way to make it go far is 45 degree, which bounces them out equally. And, well, this is a very high-powered catapult that can shoot very far. And yeah, do, uh, his make sure that people are not around you and do that, do that and show, show people. Yeah. Wait, where's the protractor? Yeah, come protector? here, come here. Yeah, protector this idea. Okay. okay. And then there's, there's, here's a simpler catapult that they just... Uh, show the launching. Show the launching. It's not the strongest. I need to undo this real quick. So, um, okay. I want to go for a 40 degree, 45 degree angle. So, I might just need to take this. And then, currently it's at 25, so it's far way out. So that should be around perfect. So now I'm going to measure it. And it is. Yep, yeah, it's 45 degrees now. And so I'm going to take the thing and put that as well. And then I'm going to pull back. And three, two, one. Super. Goes way farther than this catapult. Where's the pom pom? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Which? Uh, I'm just gonna use a screw. Sorry. Okay. Because it's designed for something a bit smaller. So even this at 45 degrees. Oh no, it's about right. So if I just take this, pull it down, and fire. Egg. Only problems. You have to, you have to yeah. Does it go? You have to put it on the uh, table. Yeah. That's okay. So that the fulcrum. You have to make sure the fulcrum. You have to hold the fulcrum. And then lodge. Okay, I'll just like do like this then. Well, but you get the point. Yeah. It goes way slower. Yeah. Because this is the catapult we built on Monday, and this is the catapult that me and my team designed. Well, it was a different design, but I kind of forgot how the old design went, so I just made this one, which works way better. So I got my um, uh, results over here. For the S is the this catapult, and the C is the this catapult. And then, so when we launched at a zero degree angle, this went zero inches, this went 108 inches, which is a big different, big difference. And then, I. 9 degree angle, 3 inches, 0 inches. And then 45 degree angle, the 88 inches, 2, 40 inches. And then that 30 degree angle, which goes 10 and 2, 38. And 60 degree angle, 30 and 135.75. Then you got the, well, I think that stands for, instead of using this tiny little pom pom, for this, we used a giant pom pom which boosted our thing pretty far, 
12 and that's 120. And then flick was basically just doing this to this. Okay. And then for this, we just barely pulled it back and then just fired. And then the pom pom under the spoon. Instead of putting it between these two sticks, put it under the spoon, and that gave us a better record than well, most normal things. And then for pom pom under the spoon in there, instead, I just took a, one of these small pom poms, stuck it in here, and I got 204 inches, which Clearly shows this kind of looks just way stronger than this. Thank you. Anything? And then other thing is that is quiz time. And then yeah. Basically, if you have questions, he will uh, he will explain <laughs> like uh, what's the projectile and how what kind of a trajectory it makes and all of that. Yeah. So you just did. Uh, anybody? 